I'm Dr. Lauren Schulman, Chief of the Department of Pulmonary and Sleep Medicine at Pro Healthcare Associates. Many of us take sleeping for granted. The truth is, getting a full night's sleep is important for our bodies to stay healthy. Having a good night's sleep is essential for our body to restore itself. Not having enough sleep or having sleep that is disrupted can cause fatigue, daytime sleepiness, weight gain, high blood pressure, diabetes, and heart problems. One of the major causes of sleep deprivation is obstructive sleep apnea. This is a potential serious sleep disorder that causes breathing to intermittently stop during sleep. A noticeable sign of obstructive sleep apnea is snoring. There are two ways to diagnose potential sleep apnea. One is for the patient to go into the sleep lab and have a full night in-lab sleep study. The other way is for the patient to bring home a home sleep study unit and wear it while he or she sleeps in their own beds. A member of our staff will provide you with the home sleep study device for you to take home. On the night of the study, there are no restrictions for dinner or medications. Try to follow your usual bedtime routine. There's no restriction on body position while using the home sleep study device. The home sleep study case contains the Alice Night One device, pulse oximeter, nasal cannula, the effort belt, and the roll of adhesive tape. Now we are ready for you to put on the unit. Please remember that the device has to be worn over your regular bed clothing. First, take the effort belt and put it over the chest. It should not be tight, but it should fit snugly. The belt can be sized very easily by using the little lever on the belt. For women, the device and belt should be placed above the breasts. After putting the belt around your chest, grasp the two clips with the thicker plastic sides showing frontwards. Now, take the unit and slip one clip into one slot on the side, and then slip the other clip into the slot on the other side. It is very important that the clips are inserted properly into the slots on the Alice Night One. If the clips are not put in correctly, it can mean a potentially bad sleep study. One way to make sure the clips are in perfectly is after you have put the clips in and the unit is connected on both sides, take your fingers and give a gentle push on the center of the clips to ensure that both clips are in all the way. Once the clips are connected to the unit, the good study indicator light will come on and the effort belt light icon will begin flashing yellow on top of the Alice Night One unit. After a few breaths, the icon will turn green. Now, let's connect the cannula to the port on top of the unit by screwing it on clockwise. Only about two to three turns until it stops. Then take the cannula and loop it over both ears with the cannula prongs facing up and into the nostrils. Then take the adjuster on the cannula and bring it up to your chin until it fits snugly. You might want to tug a little on the tubes below each ear and then adjust the adjuster again to make sure the cannula is really snug. We want it to stay in place while you sleep. Then take a piece of adhesive tape and place it over each cheek where the tube is resting. Once the cannula is connected to the unit, the cannula light icon will begin flashing yellow. After a few breaths, the icon will turn green. Now take the pulse oximeter and slip the rubber piece onto either index finger with the cable coming off of the top of the pulse ox. The tip of the finger should be in line with the rubber bulbous piece for best contact. Place a small piece of adhesive tape around the perimeter of the rubber pulse ox and the skin of your finger. Also, place two pieces of adhesive tape onto the arm where the cable is. We want the pulse oximeter to stay on your finger throughout the night. After several breaths with the pulse oximeter on, the pulse ox icon should start flashing yellow and then finally turn green. Once all the sensors have been connected and the device is getting good signals, all the icons are now solid green. In a little while, the green lights will shut off and the Alice Night One unit is recording. It is now time to go to bed and get some well-deserved rest. Here are a couple of tips. If you watch TV or read when you go to bed, it's best to put the Alice Night One on first, just in case you nod off and fall asleep before you put the device on. A little tip for putting on the cannula. Do it in front of a mirror. That way you can see that the cannula is properly fitting on the face and that the tubes are not being pinched. Again, we want everything to be in place for a comfortable and accurate night's sleep. In the morning, after you get up, it's time to take off the unit. First, unscrew the cannula from the port 
by rotating counterclockwise. Then, pull down the adjuster and take the two pieces of tape off of your cheeks and take the loops off of your ears. The cannula can then be discarded. Next, gently pull the tape off of your arm and from around the pulse oximeter. After the pulse oximeter is off, carefully unclip the effort belt by pushing up and down on one of the clips. Remember to hold the clip as you take the belt off. It is elastic, and you don't want the belt to swing into personal items or even into another person. Then, put all the pieces back into the Alice Night One Unit case. The next day, it's time to return the home sleep study unit back to where you picked it up. Our sleep team will upload the data to the sleep lab where the data will be scored and then interpreted. Please make sure that you have scheduled a follow-up visit to go over your results. We at ProHealth care about your health and we want to make your experience with us a pleasant one. For ProHealth Care Associates, I'm Dr. Lauren Schulman and here's to a good night's sleep.